SEC media days, I, I wanted to hear you. How, how was the uh, experience for you in Nashville? Uh, it was it was good. It was a little different. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of talking, like just all day. It, it was it was kind of exhausting, but it, it was good. It was fun. Hey Brock, I talked to uh, I talked to Sed a little bit earlier about this, but I know um, a, a big time edge rusher coming uh, here from UT Martin is Dalen Dotson. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, number one uh, for reference. Um, I wanted to ask, um, you know, what have you seen from him, um, and what are you kind of expecting from him, especially when you do have to run block and possibly go against a guy like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> it's been so good. I mean, we we play against uh, some really good dudes here too, so I'm. I feel like that uh, gets us ready for those kind of matchups that we're going to get uh, this week and the rest of the season. So, yeah, I'm excited to just go get, go get tested and uh, get to go, so, go against someone else besides our, our guys. Yeah, I think a big a big thing for him was uh, the confidence, I guess, that he developed through fall camp. And... Uh, I feel like he just got faster and uh, faster at like making his reads and uh, just, I mean, more reps to take, the better you're gonna be. So I think that that helped him a lot and like the confidence thing is a huge deal for him. Brock, coach said a while ago that one of the things that excites you the most about this team is the maturity level of it. I was wondering if you could give an example of of, kind of, of that and what you, your third year here. I mean, what kind of things have you seen from a maturity standpoint that excites you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, this example of that would be. I mean, when we're running in the summer and stuff, like there's no one complaining or like just talking back or nothing like that. It's just everyone's focused on on the goal and know what we got to accomplish and know what we got to do to get there. So I think that kind of um, is one of the examples that I saw this summer. Yeah, from going against them every day, what is it like matching up with the secondary, especially with Javon at safety, maybe Tyke playing a lot of star? What what do you observe from them going against them in practice? Um. I mean, going against them every day, I mean, it just makes us that much better. Like Tyke and uh, Javon and Malachi, all of them, I mean, they, uh, I mean, shoot, they're, they're like the best in the, best in the country. So it just makes our uh, receivers and tight ends and everyone that goes against them that much better. Rock over here to your left. You mentioned the confidence of, of, of Carson growing. Is it also what he sees on the field in terms of making the right read, but is it also in the huddle, the way he's spitting out the plays, looking you guys in the eyes and kind of commanding that huddle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit of both because um, I mean, I feel like he just is playing the game faster and at like just a faster pace, I guess. And that's what, that's what he needs to be doing to uh, just play quarterback here. So I'm um, excited to see what he'll do Saturday and this year. Rock Coach uh, Smart talked about with Lawson out the way that Oscar and Pierce have stepped up the last few weeks. What have you seen from both those guys just getting ready for the season? Yeah, I think uh, like Pierce has been <clears throat> a lot more locked in. Uh, I mean, ever since Lawson went down, I mean, he, he uh, he's been getting a lot more reps. I mean, all of us have because I mean now there's just uh, three three scholarship guys and uh, yeah, just a lot more locked in, a lot more focused. And I mean, it's it's good to see him. He's he's grown a lot in the last couple of weeks. And then Delp, he's He's been uh, <clears throat> playing his butt off at practice and uh, just practicing really well too. So they, they've been doing good. Brock, what do you what do you look to develop in your game from year? I mean, as more people notice you, pay attention to you, it's not like you're coming out of the blue this year. But I'm sure maybe more and more attention on you in that on that offense. Uh, do you try to develop little new things, and uh, do you have any surprises in your mind that you uh, we might see this year? Uh, I wouldn't say surprises, but uh, yeah, I've been definitely just working on little parts of my game, like, and uh, just trying to play faster. I mean, just see stuff before the ball is snapped and see what the defense is doing and um, just all that kind of stuff, just play it uh, that much faster and uh, just at a higher level. Um, Kirby, we were talking to him earlier about the running back position and, uh, you know, how they said they're looking at everybody at running back. And I know you played it in high school. How would you feel about the opportunity to do something like that? I'd be open to it. I mean, I. It's fun whenever you get the ball in your hands and uh, try to make something happen. So I mean, if they if they tell me to go to running back, I'll I'll do whatever. So yeah, Brock Oscar had to obviously take a different role this off season with Darnell kind of exiting and added a lot of a pretty noticeable weight. I'm I'm curious if there was ever a moment this off season where you noticed that like something had clicked in Oscar 
or he's like learning a different work ethic or if anything changed at all other than just the physical attributes? Yeah, I mean, I think it's um, like you said, Darnell's gone because I feel like last year he might have thought that he wouldn't he wouldn't be playing too big of a role, so his mind wasn't fully locked in. He kind of was. Um, I mean, but I'm just kind of like everywhere. But this year he seems a lot more locked in because he he knows. Like, I mean, he's going to have to step up and play a big role in our offenses here. And, uh, yeah, he's done a really, really good job at uh, just embracing that and uh, coming in and working. Brock, your last two seasons, you, 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 op you guys opened against Clemson and opened against Oregon. Is there a different feel uh, for this year in terms of the anticipation and the schedule being what it is? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're all just – it's kind of like the same feel as last year. I mean, we're all excited to go hit somebody else and go play somebody else in our defense. And – um, I'm sure the defense feels that way about our offense. And then, um, I mean, we're just excited to get the season going against whoever it is. I mean, they can line the ball with the middle of the street and we'll be ready to play. Hey, Brock, you talk about playing faster. Have you been able to do that knowing that you've put on more weight this offseason and are playing at a heavier rate than you have in past seasons? Yeah, I mean, I haven't really felt uh, too much of a difference, I guess. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think. I, mean, I still feel feel good out there playing, and um, I guess what I was talking about was like feel, like seeing stuff quicker and uh, being able to like react faster. Yeah, Brock, I got two questions for you. One, Kirby was talking about the heat this fall, and I was going to ask you how you personally press through 110. And then, secondly, how do you keep yourself humble? Because there's obviously a lot said, even teammates calling you Superman. I mean, how do you how do you keep yourself grounded with all the fanfare around you? Mm, yeah, I mean, the heat this summer was. It, it was something. I mean, it it, uh, it definitely pushed us all in a different way, and I feel like that just will make us even better for this coming season, just uh, having to go through hard stuff because, I mean, that's what, that's what makes us better. And then, I mean, I guess I just don't really focus too much on outside noise and just kind of try to stay focused on uh, the day-by-day -day and uh, just focus on me and the team and um, stuff like that. Brock, I know the offense obviously has a few guys from California on the team. What What is it that makes a recruit from the state of California want to come out to Georgia to play football? I mean, for me personally, uh, people always said the SEC was the best football. And uh, I mean, I wanted to come compete against the best and uh, practice against the best every single day. So that's, um, that was one of the big reasons why I came here. And um, wanted to win, win games and uh, try to win championships. You've got a pretty legendary competitive like work ethic. I'm curious, where does it come from? Where's that sense of constantly wanting to get better come from? Um, that's a good question. I, I'm not really sure. I feel like uh, ever since I was younger, I just always wanted to be try, try to be uh, the best, and I feel like that's what really pushed me. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I just kind of was always always in me, I guess, to just try to outwork the person next to me. I don't know, you're, you mentioned playing running back or what you can do in the receiving game. I think you've been asked this before. Do you consider yourself a tight end? I mean, when you that's where you're listed. But uh, mm -hmm. do you look at yourself, no, I'm a little, I'm more than that? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm more than that. But I mean, uh, just wherever the coaches put me and trust me to uh, help the team win, I'll, I'll do. And if that's at running back, receiver, or uh, tight end, wherever they want me, I'll, I'll go. So, I mean. I don't, I don't know. I don't pay much attention to it. So. Have time for two more questions, Brock. When we had Todd Hartley here, he said that there's times he takes you out and you complain about it, and he tells you it'll be okay. He says he likes that you fight for it. Talk to us about what it's like being coached by Todd Hartley. Yeah, I mean, Coach Hartley, he's a uh, <clears throat> he's I think one of like <clears throat> one of the best coaches in the nation. I, I mean, I just can't say enough good things about him. Uh, he pushes the tight end unit so hard every single day and uh, pushes us to like, set the standard um, of the whole team. And we, we try to do that with the way we work. And uh, I mean, he also teaches us a lot of stuff outside of the game of football, too, like how to be a better father, husband, and uh, person. So, I mean, he, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's just, he, he's special to me in, in a lot of ways.